The second step in creating an experiment using the Stack Graphics DOE wizard is to define the experimental factors that will be varied during the course of the experiment. In this case, we intend to vary four factors. First off, we'll vary the temperature, and it will be changed within a range of 140 to 160 degrees centigrade. The second factor will be time, and it'll be changed between three and six minutes. The third factor is pressure between 125 and 175 PSI. And finally, there are three different types of materials that we'll use to make the widgets, materials A, B, and C. To define the experimental factors, I'll go to the wizard toolbar and press the button labeled Step 2. This will open up a dialog box in which I'll now specify the four factors that I wish to vary during the experiment. Stack Graphics lets you actually change three types of factors. First off, there are controllable process factors. Those are factors that I can change during not only the experiment, but also typically during production. I'll push the arrow here, increase that to four, because in this case there will be four process factors. If I had certain mixture components, those are components of a mix in which one can basically vary the proportions, relative proportions of the components. I could also add those to the design. We can also add, if we like, noise factors. Noise factors would be factors that we could normally not control during production, but could control during the experiment. And factors which we'd like to find a set of conditions of the process variables such that the impact of the noise factors was as small as possible. They're fundamental to what's called a robust parameter design, and I'll be talking about that in, in a different video. Now, once I've specified the number of factors I'm going to vary, I now need to come down and type in names for the factors. The first factor will be temperature, and it will be measured in degrees centigrade. Now, in addition to a name in units, I also need to specify whether the factor can be varied continuously between its low and its high, or whether it's a categorical factor that can only be set at specific levels. In this case, the factor is continuous, and now I'll move over to the low and the high and specify a range for that continuous factor of 140 to 160 degrees. The second factor to be changed is time, which is measured in minutes. It's also a continuous factor, and we'll vary that between 3 and 6. The third factor is pressure in pounds per square inch. It's also continuous, and the range for that is 125 to 175. The final factor is a little bit different. It's material. Uh, no particular units here. What's important, though, is that this is not a continuous factor. This is a categorical factor. For categorical factors, rather than specifying a low and a high, you need to specify each level separated by a comma. So I'll just type in uh, A, B, and C. When you press OK, that information will also be added to the main window of the DOE wizard.